Hi everyone, so in today's video I want to share with you some of the newer features that has been released to GoodNote 6 recently. These are just the five most recent new features added to GoodNote 6 and I'm just going to be basically sharing with you what they are and how you can use and access them. So in case you missed them, here are the new features that was added to GoodNotes. So here you can see a preview of all the new features which I'm going to be covering in this video. And first off we have the rectangular lasso. This is a feature which I didn't think I was going to love as much as I actually do and I use it a lot more than I thought I would. So we're gonna go to the lasso tool and then you'll see you have these two options here. So the first one is the freehand lasso, meaning you can just circle anything freehand, draw around it what you wanna move. Then we have the rectangular lasso, which allows you to draw a box around whatever you wanna move around or whatever you wanna do. So here you can just see an example. I'm just gonna select all this and then I can easily drag it around. I've just found that when, especially in my planners, having to select large chunks of information, it's just way quicker to just do one little drag than having to circle each individual thing, making sure I don't miss anything. The rectangular lasso is just really quick. It's simply just one drag down and then I have everything selected. Then next up we have tape, which is something that a lot of people have been hoping for in GoodNotes. It is this icon right here. So we have a few options when it comes to tape. So first off, you will see these first three options, which are your width options. So just like with the pen tool where you can have three different thicknesses, it's the same for tape. So you can have three presets of sizes that you always want to have available. And then here we have our color presets, again, very similar to which we have here with the pen tool where you can set your presets for all the colors you wanna use for tape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new one, click on add to presets, and then it's added to that list here. So if you don't know what tape is, it's basically a way that you can tape over maybe like a diagram with a lot of different annotations to it. You can just drag over with your tape over that and then it will cover whatever it is that you drag it over. But you can also just simply tap on that tape to remove it so that you can see what's beneath it. And then you can just tap again to put it back over. So this is really nice if you have diagrams like this where you wanna practice the different annotations to the diagrams. So you can just cover all these up as you can see here. So now when you're studying, you can just tap to reveal what's beneath the tape and tap again to put it back. So this is a really helpful feature especially for students. I know a lot of people were hoping for a lot of more fun patterns and things. So, I mean, hopefully they will bring that out in the future, but right now we just have solid colors for tape. Now, this is just one use case. You can obviously just use it as decorative washi tape in like your planners or things like that. So I can go ahead and draw some tape and then I can maybe write something over that. And then it's just a nice piece of decoration. So you don't have to use it as a study method. You can just use it wherever you want as tape. So that is how you use tape in GoodNote 6. Then we have the Apple Pencil Pro palette. So if you don't know, with the Apple Pencil Pro, which I have here, you have the option to squeeze the barrel of your pencil and then a toolbar will appear. You can go to settings to choose what the squeeze function does, but mine is set to show color palette. That is why mine brings up the palette. But GoodNotes introduced a new feature for Apple Pencil Pro users, where when you squeeze with your Apple Pencil, the palette will appear with some more options for you to choose from to quickly switch between different tools. So you have here like your pen tool. When you tap on that, you have some palette presets, which I will be getting to. But here at the end, you also can just quickly switch between colors. These are the first three colors that you have here in your preset panel. So you can choose which ones you want to have here. Then you can also quickly switch between your thickness presets and you can obviously switch between different tools like all the tools that you can see here. So that is just a nice way to quickly be able to access tools by just squeezing your Apple Pencil Pro. This is only for Apple Pencil Pro users since it has the squeeze function. Here we have some more options like you can create outlines, you can clear pages, you can access templates, and you can also quickly click undo from here as well. These palette options that you'll see here is a quick way to switch between different pen presets, which you can edit. When you click on the pen tool, you'll see here it says palette shortcuts experimental. So the first three you will see here are different pens. So if I tap on this one, this is just the ball pen in 0.4. 
Then we have this option here, which is again the ball pen in pink in 0.4. Then I can switch to this last one here, which is actually the fountain pen in 0.4. So you can even create presets for the brush pen or the fountain pen. So it's a quick way to switch to the other types of pens as well by adding them to the palette shortcut. But like I said, it's still experimental. It's not yet a fully developed feature, but here you can see at manage palette shortcuts, you can see which ones are here. The first three are gonna be visible in the palette menu. So you can adjust which ones you want here. It tells you all the information, the type of pen, the color, as well as the thickness. So you can save those styles and then quickly access them from the palette here. Another new feature we have here is the fountain pen flatness. This is a small new feature. So going to the pen settings here, you will see at fountain pen, we have a new slider here, which says tip flatness. At the lowest setting, it says round, and then you can adjust it to 33%, 66, and then we have flat. It just makes the fountain pen appear differently. So this is for the round setting, the fountain pen. So this is what it looks like. And then when I switch and make it all the way to flat, then it will look like this. So as you can see, it's a whole different look to it. So that is how you can adjust the tip flatness for your fountain pen. Then the latest new feature at the time when I'm filming this is Timekeeper. So you will see we have this new clock icon here in our toolbar, and this is called Timekeeper. So here you have two options. First one is timer. So you can set a timer for however long you want. So I'm just gonna write in here 25 minutes. That's the time of a Pomodoro timer usually. So then you can go ahead and start that timer and it will bring this up where you can see how much time you have left out of the time that you've set. You can also just hide this if it's in your way. So you can set a timer, then you can come back to it, you can pause it, and then you can either continue or you can end your session. You can also go to history here to view the history of your timers that you've set. And you can also create my mode. So say you always want the 25 minute mode, you can click on new. I'm just gonna call this Pomodoro. You can even give it a cute little icon. So I'm just gonna make this one here. And then you can also here set the duration of that timer. So that's gonna be 25 minutes. And then once you're happy with that, you can click on save. So now Pomodoro is a 25 minute mode, which I can quickly enter. So you don't have to change it every time here. You can just go ahead and go to my modes. You can also click here on the plus one. So you can quickly just create your timer here. And then the other option that we have here is stopwatch. So you can just start it. And then again, that will pop up at the top. You can create different laps if you want to. You can pause it and continue, hide that if you want to. Tap on the timekeeper icon again to bring back up that menu. And here you can see this drop down arrow. If you tap on that, you can just see a quick preview of your timekeeper and all the different laps that you have here set on your stopwatch. And here you can also just see a preview of your time and then quickly click on continue or restart. So the drop down menu is just a nice way to see all the information a bit more clearly. And then you can also just click on restart if you wanna restart your entire session, but you will still be able to see also your history here, as you can see. Something that's also really nice is when you're activating your stopwatch and you're working in this document here, you can still switch between different documents and it will still keep going. It's not gonna end once you switch to a different document, but all the information about the stopwatch is gonna be saved in this document's timekeeper here. So that is just something to note as well. So those are all of the features that I wanna share that are new to GoodNote 6. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something new and learned about a new feature that you didn't even know was there before. I do have a full beginner's guide to GoodNote 6 on my channel. If you're looking for more of an introduction to GoodNotes, which I will also have linked in the description. Also in the comments, let me know if there's any GoodNote specific videos that you would like me to make and focus on certain features or things in regards to GoodNote 6. Definitely let me know in the comments, but thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.